So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Gloria. She said, um, I am the founder at, uh, I'm moving a lot all the time, so no worry. But I am the founder at tripreal.com. So, uh, founder means CEO and uh, principal um, actionist. So, I'm, uh, well, I, I was the one having the idea, so I'm basically the entrepreneur here. Um, first, before uh, just getting into the, everything, like what I, did, what I did and all the startup and the experience and everything, um, I want to, as this is uh, the Lisbon challenge, I want to offer you a challenge also. I brought uh, uh, 10 bags of uh, Trip for Real. They're, you know, these bags, like, um, but I'm really happy because they were the first merchandising that we did as a startup. <laughs> and, uh, and it's something that you don't do that much because you don't have a lot of budget when you're starting. So I have 10, and I suggest, like, at the end of the, of the pitch, you know, the best tweets, if you want with a hashtag, I don't know, Lisbon for real, like for real, you know, um, then we'll get the bag, okay? So I hope you guys are all very digital and, and tweeting a lot. So, um, okay, I'm here to present Trip for Real. So Trip for Real was born a year ago. Uh, we launched the website in uh, February 2013. Uh, it is my first startup, so I never did something, uh, like I never started anything before that. And, um, and it was like, of course, challenging, but uh, we went through everything that any entrepreneur goes through. So I was living in Sydney before that. I was selling Google Apps, Search and Maps for businesses. And then I arrived in Barcelona, back to Spain, where everyone told me there was a lot of crisis. Um, but I wanted to uh, start my company there, and I was really, really uh, sure about it. I heard the investor, the VC, talking about, um, you know, having passion for it. I, you know, I, I'm like, I completely agree. You have to have passion on what you do, because then, if you work too much, it doesn't feel like you're working too much. It just feels like you're having really, like, a lot of fun every day. So, well, basically, uh, before, like, I, I sh show you everything, but, um, well, it's been everything in one year, so now you're going to know where we are now, where we started, and everything. And um, what Triporeal is, okay, so Triporeal is unique activities hosted by locals. That means we are a marketplace that offers activities, but, like, created and hosted by the local experts. So, you know, like, for example, when you are traveling, Normally, you have that moment when, when you are with a local, and then this local takes you somewhere, and then you're suddenly like, wow, there was no tourist. Well, that's trip for real. Trip for real, anyone that has a passion, interest, or you know, that likes something can offer an activity and share with travelers. Travelers, because we call them travelers, because we think when you're traveling with trip for real, you're a traveler, not a tourist, right? So what we are trying to do with this service is to bring an impact, a positive <laughs> impact in our country with the tourism, we all know, for example, like in, in Barcelona, where I'm from, there is so many people, so many, that is like really doesn't like tourism, and it was really important for our country, right, to grow. So we want to change that. We want to make that um, the citizens are happy having a lot of tourism in their countries because they can they can make money, they can share their interest, and they can really, really like connect with uh, travelers in there. But that, but that's just one action because. The other mission of us is, you know, when people are visiting our country, we want them to have the best time ever, right? So uh, if you really make someone that's visiting your country have a great time, that means more people coming, better quality of tourism, and a lot more recommendation. So that we, you know, we're trying to work on, the, on these two, on citizens, you know, welcoming travelers, and travelers um, having a great experience. So that's why Trip for Real is a revolutionary way of traveling that offers the possibility to explore Spain until now. Um, has never been done before through the local people, okay? So first, well, why, why did I start in Spain? Well, first, why we, we, did we uh, do Trip for Real? Trip for Real is an obvious business, right? Imagine five years ago how you were planning your trips. You were going online and you were, um, I mean, you were calling the agency and you were asking for the, I don't know, travel tickets. You are also looking for hotels through agencies or maybe online but through the hotel chain. A few years ago, no booking, no kayak, no VHR, nothing existed. So we were not used to plan either transport nor accommodation through internet, right? So that's why it is the blind uh, spot in the sector, the activities. So we know how to go, we know where to sleep because there's so many tools, but what about what do I do when I get there? 
So that's kind of what jQuery wants to solve. One of every four reservations is made online. More than 50% of tourists um, plan their trips ahead. So there's obviously a market trend that brings tourists and travelers to plan everything online, okay? Um, besides this, why Spain? Well, obviously, like, um, like she well said, you know, Spain is the third uh, most popular um, country of tourism in the world, and Barcelona is a really special city to start this project. Not only because we have a lot of tourism, but also because the people is really welcoming. And I think this one is a really, really like, maybe not two, but three or four for sure for us, you know? Um, well, 60% of travelers plan ahead. There's now more than 70% of travelers are independent. We used to think independent travelers were backpackers. They're not anymore. You know, there's people with a lot of money and maybe 60 years old that they plan everything through uh, online and they're independent. They don't want to hear about anything planned. Okay, so all the benefits I already told you and how it works, it's really easy. Anyone, anyone that lives in Barcelona, Madrid, any city in, in Spain can offer a plan. They decide how much, you know, how much are they going to charge, they decide why, what they're going to do, how many, what's the duration, you know, and everything. And then the tourist can come, check our website, and then just buy the activities that they, that they like. Trip for real then gets a fee of 18%. Fee, why? Because we promote the ideas, we give them all the SEO, SEM, online marketing, and everything. So they can really get sales. That's what they want. Uh, this is how it looks like. You can all get online and check the website, but it's basically, you know, you have cities, and then you have all the activities in the city. You can also go uh, and then check the activity itself, and you'll see like details like schedules, and price, what is included, and everything. And uh, well, it's basically how it works. Now we have more than 2,500 activities in Spain. Um, so we are global leaders in Spain, which is really, really important. Uh, I don't know if you said it today, this morning, I wasn't able to be here, I would have loved to, but uh, it's really interesting to be, you know, to conquer a city instead of just wanting to go global. So entrepreneurs, we think, you know, because internet, it is true that you can have a global reach, but you know, think local and then act globally. And that's what we try to do with you for it. So we try to first really, really be leaders in one region and then scale it, you know, to other regions. Um, well, we have a rigorous quality control system, of course. We have to curate all the activities. We are, we are distribution channels of authentic global activities. That means not only amateurs offering activities, but also micro businesses or micro entrepreneurs that already have an idea and they're already Selling this idea was just a channel of distribution for them. So we're bringing them more sales than they used to have. A lot of them, they, they don't even have websites. Um, unique activities in more than 50 cities in Spain. Now we're planning uh, on opening a trip for real in different cities worldwide, like in Europe. Um, large community, so this is not up to date. We have more now than 20,000 uh, well, people in the community. And we have the best technology to do that because we are market makers. We are the first one to do it. So. You know, we have to make up all our own technology. Um, well, users, you know, I always like to say that it's really important that I can tell you how cool is my company, but to be honest, you know, the users are the first ones that you have to listen. We are a really, really user-centered company, and I'm obsessed with what they say. So I want to listen to my customers, and I want to listen to them every day. And that's the politics that we have inside of the company. Um, and it's incredible. Like, I think that's what has made me gone so far, you know. I have received, as a founder of g 4 real emails from customers saying, you know, Gloria, thank you for having this idea. Like, the trip to Barcelona was awesome, you know. The first, I've been there five times, and that moment when I was with Maria showing me around, it was <coughs> such a special moment. Plus, also had people uh, contacting me saying, there was a woman that was 60 years old. She, uh, she wasn't working, so she didn't have... Um, a job, uh, and she was she had a lot of money, and she was just a housemaid, right? So she she sent me an email saying, you know, I'm so happy because for the first time in my life, I found out what is really my passion. And she is now doing a personal shopper <coughs> to tourists that have a lot of money around like Paseo de Gracia, so like high class boutiques. So I find it fantastic. There's so many micro stories inside of our company. Uh, well, partners, we had. I had the pleasure in, in uh, April, I was in touch with uh, Nathan, the founder of um, Airbnb. I showed him to for real. He was really impressed with, with what we had. And I was more impressed when he invited us to go to San Francisco and meet them. 
So yeah, I had to go by myself. But then uh, I decided, you know, we were a startup. We, are, we were five people. I thought, you know, let's go, all of us. So we, yeah. So we went, we found 450 euro uh, tickets because uh, all our first year, you know, we've been really, really uh, budget conscious and really, you know, not spending a lot of money because you want to grow and, and, uh, and you don't have money, basically. But um, yeah, so we, we found really cheap tickets. We went, uh, well, house, obviously, Airbnb. But then uh, we, we, you know, we made like, we looked for sponsors to get like loads of Trip for Real. And we did a, a crowdfunding so people could help, you know, a, a startup go and, you know, have their dream come true, going to San Francisco with Airbnb. So we did it and we made it. And, and we actually spent only 2,000 euros. So it was amazing. We had an amazing time and we were welcomed uh, by a lot of people in the sector. So we were with Dropbox, we were with Yahoo, we were with Pinterest, with so many startups that are growing, with Airbnb, obviously, and all of them. And for us, it was incredible because there is a huge startup ecosystem that we have to bring back here now, you know, to Europe. So it was a really cool thing. So now we're partnering with Airbnb. We are, have a partner with them, which is really, really cool for us. We also have partners with Splendia, um, Gremio Hoteles de Barcelona, Time Out, Wedding Minube, and a lot more. So um, we're still we're growing a lot on this side now, and especially more since our last uh, press release, which probably you know, but if you don't know, I'm going to tell you in a few seconds. Um, and then press, yeah, we've been everywhere in the press because they love the idea, they love the concept, and I think uh, Trip for You has something that not many, us, you know, not many companies have right now, which is saying it is a company of entrepreneurs that generates entrepreneurs, actually, because everyone that, you know, offers something at Trip for Real makes money in doing what they love. So we've been covered pretty much, and I think it's really interesting when you're a startup to get covered. And well, basically, uh, well, and, and also this, you know, that's the uh, most important part for some startups. Uh, we needed money, so how did we do it? So when I started a year and a half ago, I came back to Spain and I put all my savings, all, all of them. Plus, I had no salary for a year. It was really cool because I was having some working on Sydney, which they paid a lot of money, so I could save a lot and then start a company. But, um, so yeah, I put all my savings and one year without salary. So I went back to, you know, doing a lot of Airbnb to finance uh, myself, but also, uh, yeah, Tupperware, everything, not, no money. No, but it was fashion, it was really cool. Um, and then that, that uh, and then after two months of, uh, you know, I, I put all my savings, 20K, 20,000, uh, and the website cost 18,000, 18, so I had 2,000 left. So it was, mm, what am I gonna do, you know, I have money for the website, but what about the rest? So I asked for an ENISA, which is a government uh, help that they give you 75K in Spain, and they gave it to me in two months, which it was perfect. Yesterday I was actually invited by them in Madrid to do a, um, a, well, a chat, and I was telling them how grateful I was, because I had nothing, and because of that money I could start my company. So they gave me 75K, and after that I did my first investment round which I had was really lucky that Ferran Adria, if you know him, like a famous worldwide uh, chef, he invested in my project, plus Tony Sagara and Luis Cuesta, which are amazing creatives. So I had 150K inside of the, of the um, company, which for me was a lot of money, uh, plus, you know, the best investors and business angels I could ever, you know, have imagined. And they were also really, really into the project, so they were helping me a lot. Every month we were getting, you know, meeting and, and everything. After that, um, well, I also did something that uh, for entrepreneurs, I think it's really interesting. At the beginning, you're nothing. So you have to get, you know, people that is really, that knows everything that has gone through this to advise you. And I, I did a really cool advisory board. You know, just gave them a, a little bit of percentage of my company and they were there, you know, helping me make really important decisions and everything. So I was really, really happy. I, I am really happy with them. You know, now they have grown, so there's five here, and this has grown also because uh, last month we closed a one million dollar, uh, one, one million euro investment round with uh, Casa Capital Risk and Kiva Ventures. So it, it, it was amazing for me as well. You know, we were, we spent in one year and a half, we spent a hundred and 70K and then suddenly we have now one million and we're like, okay, what are we gonna do now? So but you know, you <laughs> yeah, exactly. So now we have to continue pushing and, and to be honest, it's like 
you know, when I saw the, the press release, like, Jim for Real has raised one million, I thought, wow, these guys are really cool. Because, like, you know, you don't think like it's you. So you have to be really humble, you have to be uh, really, you know, your feet on the ground, and you have to continue to work a lot, because at the end, if you have money, it means you have more work to do, and, uh, and more results, you know, uh, to, to show. And this is pretty much it, I'm the founder, and then this is the team with the pictures, you know, with Jim for Real of the sponsors, that they gave us the, the, the clothes and everything. And a funny thing is that we are Once Tias, Ivan and Matias. So we are like uh, 11 girls, you know, Ivan and Matias. Ivan and Matias want to kill themselves. But it's, you know, it's like we yeah, are, so. And I think that's it. I have a video here that maybe if you want, I can show. But if, if not, I can just. Uh, okay, well, I think the campaign. Yeah, it's, it's this one. This one, yeah. Just, just stop for one second. Um, I'm going to show you this because, um, yeah, stop it for one second. Oh, you cannot hear, but it's okay. You can stop for one second? Okay. So this video is an example. You know, when we had Ferran Adria on board, um, we wanted to do an action, um, but we didn't have much money. So we spent 1,000 1, euros to do a video and try to make it a little bit viral. And it was a little bit viral, but it wasn't as much as we wanted. But it's an example of, of something that, you know, we did with uh, not much resources and, and just to, to promote the way of traveling that we thought it was. But without music, I don't know if it's really important. But yeah. <laughs> the good thing about Ferran is how he taught. But basically, he says, you know, how many, well, many times you go to a plane and you don't know what to do, you know. Okay, perfect. <laughs> What is G for real, the spirit and everything. I think we are okay on time, right? Um, so, yeah, so thank you very much. And, uh, well, just one moment. The challenge, uh, I don't know if, if you are really, uh, I, um, did you put the Lisbon for real? Hashtag? Oh, G for real, Lisbon challenge. Okay, well, everyone that has tweet, can you just uh, raise a hand because maybe, okay. Perfect, then you can all come out here and I'll give you this. <laughs> Thank you very much for the question.